Hello everyone, it's Nick here from Nick's News and Reviews and we're looking at Three Weeks in Paradise on the ZX Spectrum. Published by Microgen in 1986, developed by Chris Hinsley. This was the fifth game in a line. Um, first one being Automania, which we reviewed. Pajama Rama, Everyone's a Wally, we reviewed those two as well. Herbert's Dummy Run, which we haven't come to. And uh, Three Weeks in Paradise, which is this one, of course. As you see this uh, monkey jumping up and down, don't feed the animals. Well, the idea between in this fifth instalment is uh, Wally finds himself on some jungle island where he must rescue his wife Wilma and the baby Herbert uh, from uh, the, the cannibals on this uh, weird, um, well, strange island. Uh, you can do so by collecting a number of items, which is uh, always the uh, theme in these games by Microgen, combining ones together to create solutions to pacify animals. But um, I uh, didn't complete this one either, as the rest of the series, so we'll just do a bit of exploring, I think. Jungle sounds there. We'll play this one on keyboard. Makes it easier to pick up stuff, so here we go. The music playing in the background is uh, from The Sorcerer's Apprentice, I think, by Disney. Well, a version of it. So let's go past this elephant. So essentially, we have to find Wilma, um, Wally Week's wife there, and Herbert whoever they may be, and just somehow rescue them by avoiding getting eaten by all these nasties. There's a tribesman there coming towards us. These animals are dangerous. There's certain items you can uh, pick up to, um, well, help. Although the elephant's not too scary. I think this is a can of something here. So, yep, terrible colour bleed here. Colour clash when Wally goes past things. There's a button you can press to change his colour if it gets a bit too confusing. But um, that doesn't really help much. So we've got a goldfish bowl on this island and an empty billy can. Hmm. Not sure what we're going to do with them, to be honest. A totem pole, is that a clue? A rectangular cloud. I don't know where we're going. But the idea is to rescue Wilma and Herbert and then build a raft with uh, whatever and escape. It's a fire here, well, an empty fire. Maybe we've got to get that lit. I'm not sure a goldfish bowl is going to help, but uh, wh why not? So we pick up a corkscrew. What the hell am I doing? A charming little game. Uh, well programmed and put together. I prefer Everyone's a Wally. It's my favourite one out of the series. Um, check that one out if you haven't already that I reviewed by clicking on the Spectrum playlist at the end of this video. Right, we're in some sort of I don't know, warehouse. Uh, let's pick up some flip-flops. I'm sure that will help us rescue uh, Wilma. Oh dear. That's a good trade, that. An empty can for some flip-flops. Uh, let's go through it. It says in, so we can go in here. Right. Oh, there's Wilma there, hanging upside down. She's in light blue. There's this bloke blocking the way. Obviously, none of the items we picked up, a corkscrew or flip-flops, gets us past this fellow. So we can... Uh, ouch. So we can... Uh, Eliminate that from our inquiries of uh, ways to get past him. What's in this direction? We lose a bit of energy each time we go past. Oh, it looks like some sort of velociraptor here. Do flip flops or a corkscrew get past him? The answer is no. Yes, that, that was a bit of a surprise. I think those flip flops might be a red herring, you know. Get past this weird snail thing. So, what are we doing? Um, there's clues down there. Wally, help, it's me, Wilma. Yeah, we've already seen you, Wilma. Hmm. Right, let's jump over this fellow. So, oops, took a bit of damage there. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know why this is called Three Weeks in Paradise. This looks far from it. Um, it I don't know why it's Three Weeks either. Oh, that's a bit close. It might have been three weeks before these cannibals were here. There's a lion hiding in the undergrowth, but he's not going to cause us too much bother. We can just walk past. He's got a seagull on his head for some unknown reason. I don't know who puts these signposts up in the jungle telling you it's a jungle. I think we could have worked that out for ourselves. Don't seem to be able to get in this hut here coming up. Perhaps there's a thing we can do to get through. Ribbit. Right, let's go the other way here. That elephant. For some reason, there's half the elephant on this screen. On the other screen, the other half of him seems to have disappeared. But he's not moving either, so maybe it's just half a statue. Oh, this was a bit spooky. Nice sunflower in the jungle. Someone's obviously maintaining that. 
do 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 right some B's it's an axe there and an ins so you can go to different uh, rooms by going in left or right or where it says in hit one of the middle row keys to go through oh it's a crocodile could a blunt axe get past him perhaps no damn you crocodile I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts is that a clue Anyway, Deddy Poos, with your help, the natives will have a big feast tonight. Wilma and Herbert, oh dear, you solved 0%. Well, that's not bad. That's better than I thought I was going to do. Um, maybe we should have one more go, see if we fluke any of the solutions. But it doesn't get much better than this, folks. That elephant's garden, that goldfish bar, we'll, we'll take that again. I'm sure that's critical to the whole solving of the entire game. Did you ever complete this one? Or any of the others in the series? If so, click below. What was your favourite one? As I said, for my my uh, one is everyone's a Wally. So yep, so we change Wally's colour there white. See, it makes no difference at all. Still colour colour bleed city. But apart from that, if we ignore that. It's uh, yeah, it's quite a cute game. Probably get more of that, out of it if you know what you're doing. Right, blunt axe. Oh, there's Herbert there in the cooking pot guarded by the lions so at least we found the two people we got to rescue as he shouts dad there's a bit of a of a raft there in the graphic on the bottom so life represented by the skull and crossbones hmm what's the secret of getting past this the blunt axe passed us past him perhaps I don't think so what's this item here oops what's that do sticks I think um I think you use them to start fires, don't you? Do you? Rub them again when a fire starts. Maybe we can use that in that place where we saw that fireplace. That might start a fire. That might give us something. A new object, perhaps? It's tough in the jungle. What? Do 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 do. I certainly need some help here. Right, come on, Wally Week. This is the worst holiday of all time. Surely you can turn it around. But we all know secretly you can't. The only... Um, I haven't um, played Herbert's Dummy Run for a bit. So I don't know how that goes. So we might have a look at that as well to complete the series. Although we uploaded them out of order. Everyone's Wally's my favourite. Automania is probably second with the simplicity of it. In that one you have to build cars. None of this rescuing business is going on. But uh, I, like, I do like a bit of exploring, so the... Oh, we haven't got the juice sticks anymore, eh? I, I, uh, I've timed that pretty wrong. But I think that's probably what we needed to do. Light a fire here to create something else. Um, I don't think... I don't think anything else is maybe going to cut it. Oops. What is this place? It's like an armour, is it? There's an anvil there, or a blacksmith can use it. Let's get going. Don't know what that guy's up to. It's either a statue or someone standing very smuts, well, stationary. That totem pole looks like it's been put there by the Third Reich. Yes, so that, I think we'll end it there. So um, that's shown you most of the screens, I think, of Three Weeks in Paradise. I hope you like that one. Uh, do check out the rest of the series there. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.